I've always been a huge fan of animated cartoons. Adventure Time, Regular Show, Owl House, the list goes on, and Steven Universe is no exception. I've even got a giant poster of him on my wall, directly across from where I sleep. Not creepy at all. I like to watch you sleep sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean often. For some reason, I've had the urge to binge the show again, and I then remembered about the 2017 RPG game that I never played. Steven Universe, save the light. So today's video, I'm going to unlock every trophy and see if this game is any good. So I started off my journey gushing over how charming the graphics looked. Oh, this game is so nice to look at. I love it. Look at these camera angles and ah, oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. We need more games like this. After exploring Beach City for a bit, we bump into Steven's dad, Greg Universe, and meet the main villain of the game and have our first battle. Oh, it's our first battle. Let's go. Press X when you see the star for a bonus attack. Just like Paper Mario. Okay, here's a target. When you see star for a bonus attack, okay. Neo Burrito. We're, we did it! Greg then joins the party and I get to explore the rest of Beach City and I find my first trophy. I'm pretty sure if I jump through this donut, the trophy, right? Hey, donut hole in one. I then speak to the townspeople and get given quests complete, ranging from delivering pizzas to collecting glow sticks. These need to be completed for the platinum trophy. I then linked up with Pearl and set foot into the woods, where I managed to obtain some tricky combat trophies. Wait, did I do five? I think I did. Six. Oh, somebody's perfect. Perform ten perfect attacks in a row. This trophy right here requires me to perfect block an enemy attack ten times in a row. For some reason, this gave me a lot of trouble. No! Are you serious? <laughs> Am I just really bad at this game? Oh, come on! Hand work! Work! The thumb! Nine. Yes! Perfect ten. Oh my goodness, that took me ages. We then catch up to the main villain of the game, Hessonite, and take on our first boss. Dave! It's Dave! End them. Oh, shit! Defeat three enemies with a single attack. That was epic. Boss beater uppers. Defeat any boss without letting any party members be defeated. The next area was the snow area, how original. I managed to get a trophy for defeating 100 enemies and a trophy for dealing over 100 damage and then take on Square Dot, the boss of the area. Good boss fight. I then made my way back to Beach City and got three trophies one after the other. Work of art is another trophy, it's just like that. Amethyst, she's right here. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's all the deliveries as well. I then just made my way through the story. First through the Strawberry Battlefield, Temple of Secrets, and Bismuth's Forge, until I made it to the final boss. My main strategy to win the fight was to use Steven's ukulele to buff Garnet's attack, and then use her 5-hit combo. Oh, oh, wow, she's strong. I did next to no damage. Oh my god. Oh sh- Oh my- That was a lot of damage. Am I really meant to win? <laughs> Like, am I missing something? Am I meant to do something? I then learned that you could heal the Light Warrior and he would debuff Hessonite whenever she was beside him. Debuff! Hey, debuff. Let's see what happens now. Oh, bigger damage, way bigger damage, thank god. Look at that. With this knowledge, I was able to get the duck. Oh, I did it! Let's go! <laughs> There are three endings that you can get, each with their own trophy. The ending changes depending on what options you pick for Steven to say. I decided to pick the worst ending first. I, uh, didn't see that coming. Is this canon? Cool. That's the bad ending. You gotta fight her again for the good ending. It's then time to finish collecting all the collectibles, ranging from visiting every area, saving every light Steven, seeing every fusion attack, unlocking every weapon upgrade, and eventually getting 100% completion. This was definitely the worst part of the game since area puzzles reset and you can't run away from encounters. It was then time to get the last trophy, which is the hardest one. Yay. Okay, so for the last trophy, we have to fight the final boss with the CBF badge. Reduces the entire team's stats by half. Bruh. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. At least we got a challenging trophy. So I first had to get through the Light Warrior, which gave me no trouble. But Hessonite, she was no joke now. We did it. Oh god, I'm scared. 
Let's see how much damage I do. What? Oh, that's what her defense is down. Oh my god. That's mental. Garnet could be dead. Uh, correct. Yeah, I'm dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Steven's apparently the heavy hitter. Look at that! Oh my god, game over. <laughs> For some reason, the Light Warrior then decided to have no chill. Oh, fucker off, man. What the hell? Wow. What is going on? I can't even get past the first boss now. Oh my god! Oh... <laughs> what?! Since Steven was my heavy hitter, I used the headband item to boost my attack and had Garnet use a rocket punch move to lower Hess Knight's defense. Damn it. Oh, perfect damage, oh my god. The scariest move Hesse Knight has is when she points her sword at you and kills you in one hit. If she does it to Steven, then I'm screwed, since he's the only one that can use items. No, oh my god, are you serious? Please, leave him alone. Oh, I wonder if I can bubble myself. But, I made this cool little discovery. No! Oh wait, it did work! Oh yes! It worked! Yes. Oh my god. We're so close. She's gonna kill Steven. <laughs> no! Yeah, I was pretty much screwed at this point. <gasps> ah, no! Oh, Garnet, please. Pull out a miracle, please. Oh, come on! Oh my god, Amethyst. No! Oh my god, Amethyst, please. Please! Okay, I'm gonna try this. Uh, oh, for f <gasps> sake, man. But then this happened. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Steven, Steven's coming back. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go. Yes! Crying breakfast, friend, and. Believe in Steven the Platinum. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's bloody go. Overall, the game was decent. I would give it a 6 out of 10. Wouldn't really recommend the game to anyone who hasn't watched the show, unless you want a pretty easy Platinum, especially for all those trophy hunters out there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more content just like this.